Good to see you. Uh, what have you learned, if anything, over the last two weeks with regards to how we should be trading the markets and how we should be uh, interpreting what's taking place out of uh, Congress? Yeah, I think as you know, when you're talking about the underperformance of hedge funds, that's the problem. If you try to use your brain uh, to invest, you're not going to do very well because you have so many people who are investing without thinking and they're just buying whatever's going up. And so sometimes uh, to be right in the long run, you have to risk being wrong in the short run. I think a good uh, uh, you know, look, look would be at the gold market to prove that point. Look at the price of gold dropping sharply over the last couple of days, supposedly because we've had a resolution to the debt ceiling crisis. But the best thing for gold is raising the debt limit. Raising the debt limit means more inflation. It means more deficits, bigger government. That's bullish for gold. What would have been bad for gold was to not raise the debt ceiling and to instead deal with our problems in America, actually deal with the debt. But by kicking the can down the road, that's good for gold, yet the price of gold is going down anyway. So in the long run, it's a great buying opportunity, but in the short run, people who don't understand the gold market are selling. Peter, this is John Authors. Can I, can I ask you, in the last couple of years, I think most people would say that the, uh, the balance has shifted towards deflation. Deflation is the big risk rather than inflation. If you look at uh, other commodity prices beyond gold, if you look at the uh, producer price indices, is that a reason why gold is, is going down, that, that, uh, that, that deflation risks seem to be trumping in inflation? And if so, why are we seeing this kind of deflationary pressure when, when we're printing so much money? Mm -hmm. No, well, the, the, it, the printing money is inflation. The downward pressure on prices is for assets. Stock prices, real estate prices should be falling, but they're not because of all the inflation that the central banks around the world are creating. But the, to, to deny that that inflation is somehow or is not showing up in consumer prices is wrong. Consumer prices are rising much faster than the governments admit. But the fact that so much of the inflation is temporarily housed in asset prices, again, whether it's stocks or real estate or the bond market, all of that inflation is going to make its way into prices for those producer and consumer goods. So if you believe uh, that it's deflation, uh, that's the threat, you're living in denial. It is massive inflation. The greater threat is that the central banks lose control and we have a runaway inflation, not just elevated inflation, but hyperinflation. That is a far greater threat. Hopefully we avoid that, but there's a lot of inflation that's going to be created between now and then, and I think that the, the bigger money is going to be made into buying uh, the inflation trades that everybody is selling. So people should be buying gold, they should be buying commodities, because this sale won't last. Eventually, the people who are doing the selling will figure out that they've got the economy wrong. Right? That the U.S. economy is not recovering, that the Fed is to do more, not less QE. It's not going to work. It's not going to revive the economy, but it will create a lot of inflation. And now with Janet Hellman, Janet Yellen, rather to take over the Fed, it's even more bullish. Peter, let me just include uh, some, some viewer comments and questions that are coming through. We'll float the email address once again for you in the Twitter address. Uh, Jeremy writes in and he says, the gold and silver markets have recently been punctuated by huge sell orders that occur just above uh, the key technical levels precipitating further algorithm-driven sales. Why do these sales occur and who is behind them? Yeah, you know, it's, it might be very coincidental, but, you know, Goldman Sachs came out on Wednesday and said gold was a slam dunk sell if we had a resolution to the fiscal problem. And then all of a sudden, the next day, the Republicans cave and say they're willing to raise the debt ceiling and gold goes down and you get these big sell orders early in the morning where you have millions of ounces dumped on the market with no limit. I mean, who sells with no limit? I mean, obviously, when you're trying to sell, you want to get a good price. But the sellers now don't want to get a good price. They want to drive the price down. And the question is, why do they want to drive it down? Obviously, it helps governments if we can pretend uh, that there's no crisis because the price of gold is going down. But obviously, it helps people who are trying to buy. Low prices helps the buyers. So figure out who's trying to buy gold. Maybe Goldman Sachs wants to buy, but they need to flush out a lot of sellers in order to get a good price. Peter, do you think that, uh, that we're going to see tapering during the fourth quarter of this year, or is that for sure pushed out into next year? 
No, we're not going to see it. We're not going to see it next year either. We're never going to see it. The Fed is never going to taper. That doesn't mean QE won't come to an end, but it's not because the Fed brings it to an end with tapering. The Fed is going to increase the size of QE. What's going to end it is going to be the markets. When there's a dollar crisis, when the dollar collapses, when the bond market collapses, then the QE is going to stop. But it's not going to be just easing off on the gas pedal. It's not going to be a taper. We're going to have to slam on the brake, and we're going to bring on a far worse financial crisis than what we had in 2008. Peter, if the economy were a cocktail, what would it be called, do you think? A question we're asking people today because we're talking to the bartender <laughs> from the world's best bar who's on I, the show. I guess a, a kamikaze. A kamikaze. It's a good one. Kamikaze. <laughs> Very good yeah, one. I think we're giving him a lot of ideas. I think he's sitting in the green room right now. Jolting 